So, magnetic fly screen. What do we need? Some magnetic band. Yep. Magnetic. That's the one. Fly screen. And a piece of wood. And a window if possible. Measuring. If your measuring band is working, that is. There we go. As accurate as possible. Make some notes. Right. Now we take that oak beam and cut it to size. Just some rough cuts. The planer does the rest. Now we cut it to length. And the joints. This is really fun. Okay, let's put the frame together. I only had one right angle because I got an old house. All the angles are a bit off. Next one is the holes for mounting. There we go. Bit of sanding. And the fly screen. I took the aluminium fly screen so it doesn't stretch after a while. Now the magnetic band onto the fly screen. This actually works better than I thought. The adhesive on the magnetic band is stronger than I was expecting it, so it was much easier. Also on the wood, well, easy peasy, straightforward. I made the frame the same width as the magnetic band. So a bit of oil on it. And then on it goes. Mounting it was really simple because there is wood to screw on everywhere. It was quite simple. The last magnetic stripe to cover up the screws and on goes the fly screen. To cover up the edges we used a, a paper band which I glued on with PVA. This worked the best. We tried some different tapes but the PVA worked best. All right and there we go. All done and dusted. It looked really neat after all. Nice joints. There are some gaps, I have to admit, but with a wonky house, you can't really avoid it. But you can use acrylic to cover up those gaps. If you liked this week's video, give me a thumbs up. Yay, victory dance. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Ciao.